So here you see um, there is a company whose name is Bohai Harvest, RST. And um, under the bio of the company, it says this company was founded in 2013 and put on how much money? That's uh, it's like 25 million dollar. I'm very bad at math. <laughs> um, so this company are one, two, three, three Chinese companies and this English, uh, uh, this American companies. Together, they set up this foundation management company. So I'm translating the Chinese into English. So my 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 brain is not working right now. Um, it sounds very bad. So this American company is called Rosemont Seneca Thornton. Mm -hmm. um, and then the contact info is down there. And then the managed team, there are three person whose name is in English. So let's talk about them one by one. So the first one is called Devon Archer. And he is a co-founder and managing partner of Roseman Capital LLE. And he was the vice chairman and members of the investment committee of Bohai Harvest RST. And he served as a senior advisor to the current U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry in the 2014 presidential campaign. Right, so um, I forget who, I think it was against George W. Bush. Mm. Uh, in, 2004, in 2004? Mm -hmm. oh. yeah, so he ran against him. Um, and uh, he's also uh, Secretary of, of State. I don't think, I don't think actually currently, but I haven't been keeping up with that. Uh, the current lineup has been changing frequently. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, but yeah, he's, he's held uh, major U.S. government positions and has had high aspirations. So he has, well. so he has U.S. Govern, government backgrounds, mm -hmm. right? Definitely. And he's, look, look at the last sentence. He served as co-chairman of the National Finance and Economic Committee. Mm -hmm. What is that? <laughs> Maybe we can dig more on that part. <laughs> and then James J. Bolger, and he's the chairman of Thornton, director of Bohai Harvest RST. And, and look at that, in 2005, a consortium. consortium was formed to bid for the construction of Beijing Metro Line number nine mm. and then since then Thornton has been successfully engaged in cross-border transactor transactions between China and the United States and then if you look at the picture down below there is the Bohai harvest BHR and then the logo to the right is called Sun Honor Capital Co. LD. So what's the relationship between those two companies? And let's take a look. So the Sun Honor, if you see the uh, the words in the in this red square, it's a company which is invested by HNA. Mm -hmm. HNA is the Hainan Airline Company and he's a he it's a family business of Wang Qishan who is the current vice president of China and in their bio if you see the highlight <clears throat> if you see the highlight words it says and the four faces of Bohai Huamei so what is Bohai Huamei? Huamei is the pinyin pronunciation of BHR's uh, Bohai Huamei, the character 
So it's it it is Bohai BHR. So they invested in BHR, which BHR has U.S. government background.、Mm-hmm. Wow! And then Hainan Airline H and A also has Chinese government background. Right. And actually, if we go back a frame,、uh, we forgot to mention a little something. If you look at the last person, R、uh, Hunter. Yes, R Hunter.、Uh, and who could that be? Yeah, Hun- Hunter who? Could who? That be? Because none of, none of these、uh, Western people's names, last names, are used. Yeah.、Uh, but you know, we we many of us will already recognize his face.、Uh, so if we go forward a couple of frames, that's Joe Biden's son, <laughs> Hunter Biden. <laughs> Joe Biden, the、Yay. current,、uh, well, he's a front runner of the Democratic presidential candidates. He was the previous. Previous、uh, vice president. Yeah. Wow. And then if if you look at the words, Hunter Biden, he's the ex- executive of Rosemont Seneca Partners, which is the Thornton and all those people who are involved.、Mm-hmm. So they're pretty much a company that's built by all the U.S. government of officers. Yep. And then in December two thousand thirteen, back then Joe Biden was the vice president. So he and his son Hunter Biden flew to China in Air Force Two. Is that legal? For for personal business, very much no. <laughs> Air Force Two is is reserved for government business only. Wow. And it comes with its own security detail. All kinds of it's all paid for by. By taxpayers. So we pay for them to flew there to do business with Chinese governors.、Mm-hmm. For the vice president of the United States to help his son wangle a deal with、uh, with guess, CCP. Yeah, ba- yeah, <laughs> basically with 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 the、uh, the government of China. Yeah. So let's for personal profit. Yeah. So let's keep looking. So ten days later, a subsidiary subsidiary of Bank of China. Signed a contract with Roseman Seneca Partners, agreed on building a one billion investment foundation together, which is the Bohai Harvest RST. Yep. Bingo. <laughs> well done, guys. And also, right now the current、um, the news the current news are. What is that? The current news is、um, there was a. TV footage said that、um, the Ukraine, yeah, it's the Ukraine ju- judge trying to invest do the investigation on Hunter Biden. It was, it was the Attorney General of the Ukraine.、Um, I forget his name.、Um, And Joe Biden just said that on TV said yeah, just straight up said oh yeah, I, I if I you do that,、fired. I'm not gonna give you. You you have to get you have to fire him. Otherwise, I'm not giving you money. Something like that. Right, and it was、uh, it was.、Mm, he just said that out loud. I think military aid to the Ukraine.、Uh, basically, he just admitted straight up that <laughs> he extorted the Ukraine. Uh, be, uh, so the deal the deal is that、um, Hunter Biden was on the、um, board of directors for a. Oh, what kind of company was it? Also, investment company.、Uh, I don't think it was investment. It's it's some kind of kind of resource company. Yeah, energy company. Energy company.、Sure. Yeah. Um, and and the name of it is slipping my mind. And yet it's okay. Just keep. Feel、going. really silly. <laughs> look it up later. Um, but uh, yeah, they're they're being investigated by the AG, and uh. The, he was asked to drop it uh, because uh, from from higher up, you know, the president at the time、mm-hmm. of, of Ukraine. So he's actually using his position, which is the vice president、mm-hmm. of U.S., to threaten a Ukraine.、Uh, what is that? Official. Official said that、mm-hmm. if you guys don't hire,、uh, don't fire this guy, 
we're not going to give you money. Right. And this this and official time, is investigating on Joe Biden's son. Yep. At the time. Wow. Uh, he learned pretty President, well from CCP. <laughs> oh, yeah. At the time, Vice President Biden was in charge of Ukraine relations. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so he actually had the authority to withhold this military aid that, there, that was already scheduled to be sent to Ukraine uh, Oy if, if they didn't do what he, he wanted. Wow. <laughs> Oy vey. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's under current investigation. I'm looking forward to seeing how that will shake out. Yeah. So at the end, the fund later went up to 1.4 billion US dollars. Well done, guys. This is... <laughs> this is dirty. <laughs> oh yeah. 